Hey there, I uh, wanted to show you a real quick video on how I create lecture um, slides that are shareable with students and have computation built in with them, and all that uses Jupyter Notebooks and a package called the RISE package meant for presentation. So uh, when I join the server I um, for my class, under Form Grader, I have already created a set of lecture notes as an assignment. So I just created an assignment, uh, labeled it lecture, so it was really clear it wasn't one of the labs for students to work with. And within that, there's a Jupyter Notebook. And it looks like any other Jupyter Notebook. It's got cells, some of which are markdown cells, some of which are um, code cells, so a lot of markdown initially, but there's some code. Um, and... If you go to view, uh, the cell toolbar that I'm looking at right now is the slideshow cell toolbar. So that shows us, um, that's specific to the RISE package. Uh, so you'll see this extra little button in the Jupyter Hub server because RISE is pre-installed as one of the default packages. And uh, within the RISE package, it lets you declare particular cells as either slides or subslides or fragments or things that get skipped in the presentation mode um, or notes. So there's pretty good documentation on that, um, but I'll just show you how it works for me. So yeah, so I've got, you know, here's my opening slide. Here, this next cell is going to be my next slide. So uh, when I hit the slideshow button, what I get is uh, something that looks like this. And so once in a while, you know, the fonts don't quite fit on screen, so I'll just zoom out. I'm at 90% now, and then it all fits on there. Uh, so yeah, so I wanted to start off students with a Fermi problem, um, but there's some opening opening notes, and then uh, every time I hit spacebar, um, you know, we get to the next slide. So it's not as flexible as using PowerPoint in terms of how you arrange content. It's definitely more limited. It's probably a little bit more like using uh, LaTeX uh, in terms of a presentation formatting thing. Um, but, you know, I, I, the fact that it can include computation in here is really great, right? So here's the first executable cell, and I can run it. Um, of course, that doesn't generate any output but I could um, um, actually add more things to it. Let's see if there's a... Yeah, okay. So then I actually have extra cells that, that appeared too. Um, yeah, there's kind of this sub... I guess sub-slides they're called. Um, so it's almost like you animate the slide. Uh, so then I can run you know, these print statements, and it, and it executes. And I can even add cells uh, live and run something like so. Uh, yep, so that is the format. So I can either click on these little arrows to advance, or I can hit space. Um, oh yeah, this is just a reminder to tell me I need to exit and restart kernel because I'm showing students how to import some stuff. Yeah, so so that's what it is. So one of the nice things about doing these slides in the Jupyter Hub is not only do they contain the executable code, but when I go over to Form Grader, um, which I am pretty happy with so far, uh, um, I can go over to the lecture and I can say generate, uh, and it's going to make a student version of this, which I can release. And so then I can tell my students at the start of class, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have all of the um, answers removed, so none of the code is executed already. Uh, but now, if they act like a student, or I'm going to pretend I'm a student, I'm going to go over to assignments and be like, oh yeah, look, hey, there's some Dr. Zwickel's release some um, lecture notes. So I can fetch those and open them, and now I'm opening them in kind of the student view. Um, as a student, they can look at it either as a notebook, or they could also go into slideshow mode. 
Um, of course, there's nothing. They don't have to submit this. I'm not asking them to submit. In principle, you could, uh, but I've never wanted to grade anything in this format. Um, so yeah, so that is the uh, that is how to do these slideshows in Jupyter Notebooks, and it's it's a nice way to be able to share the slides quickly with students. You don't have to do any back and forth with my courses, um, or say saving a Jupyter Notebook and uploading to my courses, or saving as a PowerPoint or PDF or something. Um, just keep it all in the Jupyter Hub. Uh, works pretty well for a lot of things. Uh, so hopefully that's a helpful just demonstration of one other way to use Jupyter Hub in NB Grader, um, not as a way to grade work, but as just a way to share assignments with students really easily um, and minimize the logistics of kind of exchanging files back and forth. Bye.